Hello and welcome to another headliner video. Today we're going to be having a look at Soothe 2, looking at some of its features, when to use it and how to use it. Let's dive in. So let's have a look at Soothe on Symbols. Um, this is something that Soothe is often used for uh, and indeed Soothe 2 features presets specifically for symbols. So let's have a look at that. Uh, for the purposes of this demo, I'm using an old Logic project, um, which I've reprogrammed the drums uh, in. I would normally really use Soothe for live drums. This will mean the cymbals probably won't be as loud and dynamic as they would be if it was a real drum kit. But the principles here are the same. So get those headphones on and let's dive in and see what we uh, can find out. So let's solo the cymbals, or the overheads channel in this case, um, which is a group including some drums. So let's start from around about here where the kick comes in. Okay, and if we open Soothe, we've got a default program here. Now there's some factory presets, all very useful. So if we go down to drums and have a look, We've got uh, a number of different programs here. So let's try Symbol Smooth. Let's have a look at that. So that gives us a tasty little hump there. Uh, and we can see that there's various things going on. Now, if you want to check to see exactly how much is going on, you can always pull these straight down and it will still show us what's happening. If we extend this, you can see through the entire dynamic range exactly what's going on and we can still see that we've got a certain amount of harshness sitting up. The sharpness allows us to hone in on just those individual little frequencies, as you can see. If we take that right down, it gives us a whole block when it kicks off. There we go. Let's pop these back again. We can also see that there's practically nothing going on down there that isn't drums, so we can move that right up here. There we go. We don't need the real highs there. We're just looking in this area, really. Now, the great thing is the delta button. That actually isolates what it's actually affecting and taking out. We can increase either by increasing the height of this little hump there that selects those frequencies. When we take it out of delta, they drop down below. So basically, this is the reverse of an EQ. The higher the hump, the more you're actually taking out, not increasing it. Okay, the depth, of course, as you can see, that's increasing the amount you're actually taking out. See, there's one or two that are really kind of sitting up there. So let's take the delta button, okay. We then bypass. Now, what happens if you over increase it? It really destroys the definition of the symbols. So, you don't want to do that. You really just want to smooth it out. And you can hear the difference there. Subtle but effective. Okay, bypassed. Let's get some big hits in again before I put it back in. There you go. Let's put it back in. And they're really not quite as vicious. It's subtle but it's effective. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's move on and look at another instance where we can use Soothe. Okay, so we have an instance of Soothe here. Let's just drop that down a little bit. So you can see on here that um, Soothe is picking up this area, even if we close that right down and leave it 
flat, it's still showing an area. So if we open this out, we can see where the main areas of resonance are on this track, and it's still there. Okay. So for now, delta that. Solo this makes it a lot easier to hear. Okay, so in delta mode, you can hear exactly what it's taking out. If we then bypass it, we get the original guitar, and we've got a lot of plectrum noise there and a lot of kind of cab resonance. Uh, these are originally um, guitars that were recorded by mics in front of cabs, so. And especially when you put multiple tracks together, we're getting quite a lot of build-up of that. So again, if I bypass that, that's quite a lot of sort of... a lot of resonance. If I then... I can wind this in. Okay, it's bypassed. If I then put it in, you can hear how much it's taking out. Okay, we can also sharpen that up again. Now we want to be quite subtle here, we don't really want to kill the dynamics of these guitars. Because there's quite a nice bit of playing going on here, so the, the key really is to be as subtle as you can. So you're not destroying anything, but you're removing that area that seems quite harsh or in some cases, in this case, for example, it's not particularly musical. So let's put that back in again. Now we've got a nice smooth guitar sound without the harshness of that plectrum noise. And if we back it off a little bit to try and keep the dynamics there. Yeah, let's sharpen that up even further. There you go, it's subtle but it's effective. Bypassed. We've got a lot of shimmering noise over it. Engage it, it reduces it somewhat. And that is quite a big difference. And finally, the third instance where Soothe proves extremely useful is vocals. So let's have a quick jump to the beginning of the verse here. Um, I've got some vocal lines here. I'll just drop that down a little bit. I think Soothe may be actually engaged on that. Yes, it is. Let's bypass that. Okay, I'll just sharpen it up so you can see what's happening. There's a little ring on there that you can hear. So it's, so it's up here somewhere. Uh, and everything else looks pretty cool. Let's just knock that back a bit so we're not over-processing. Let's punch in dense delta. And that way we can hear what we're actually affecting. Okay, there's another little area here. I can sharpen these up a little bit. There we go. Alright, let's have a listen to that. I've done it all before, but to see it now is to my surprise. Just go to show for sure that I don't need that I could even find. Oh, that I don't need it. It's a little bit too much. Okay. So I bypass it. Engage it. Well, what we wanted to try and do here was retain as much of that aggression and that kind of rock sound in your voice. 
And I think we've done that. That sounds pretty good to me. It certainly uh, improved the situation and got rid of a few of those little things that were sitting up. That'll sit much better in the mix. Okay, well, I hope you've found this all very interesting. And um, please go ahead. You can download this for free to give it a, a good old trial and try it on a few things and see what you think. Uh, I think it's a really good plugin. So, uh, uh, you know, feel free to make uh, take advantage of that uh, free download um, and trial period and see what you think. Okay, I hope you all found that useful. Um, if you did, please like, share and subscribe. If you want to ask any questions or leave a comment, please feel free to do so. Uh, also, head over to the Headliner website and check out the full reviews of Soothe2 uh, and Spiff from Oak Sound and uh, we'll see you in the next video.